Welcome to my class in continuation with Unit 3, Measures of Central Tendency. That is mean, median and mode. We finished with all of them. And now we are doing partition values. So what are they? Of course, we've done median and median is a partition value. That is, for example, median divides a statistical series into two equal parts. So even li likewise, like median, there are other partition values which divide a series into 4 parts, 10 parts and 100 equal parts. So these are known as partition values. Partition values dividing a series into 4 equal parts are known as quartiles. Those dividing a series into 10 equal parts are known as deciles. And those dividing a series into 100 equal parts are known as percentiles. So we finish with quartiles and deciles. Uh, we did it in the discrete series. Now, we are going to do it in the continuous series. So, what are the steps? First is, calculate cumulative frequency. And I am going to show the steps along with it. This is the example. That is, calculate quartile 1 and quartile 3 from the following data. So, these are the marks. 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20. 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 35, 30 to 35, 35 to 40. And these are the corresponding frequencies given. Alright. So, marks and number of students. So, uh, 0 to 5, I, see the class interval is 5 as we can know. And how many marks did uh, 0 to 5 with in the range of 0 to 5? So, 4 students got. 6 students got. Marks within the range of 5 to 10. 8 students got marks within 10 to 15. Now what we want to find out is the quartile class. So frequencies are first. Uh, it's The first step is calculate cumulative frequency. So this is how we are going to do the cumulative frequency. Now look at this. So 4, 6 and 4 is 10. Then 10 and 8 is 18. So how do you say marks less than 20? How many got? 30. 18 plus 12. Marks less than 30. How many got? 50. 42 plus 8. And so on. So this is how we calculate the cumulative frequency. And the total number of students in this particular class is 60. And these are the marks that they've got. So once we found out the cumulative first Calculate the cumulative frequency. Now, for, now, the second step is find quartile class. So, we want to find out that the first quartile or the lower quartile, which, where does it look? Where, where in is the class interval of the class for uh, quartile 1, first quartile? Now, in this, what do we do? We take n by fourth item. Now, n here is how many? 60. So, Q1 is equal to the size of n by 4th item, which comes to 60 divided by 4 is a 15. So, the, it is in the 15th item that you will find the quartile, first quartile. So, now let's look, don't look here in, in the frequencies, let's look into the cumulative frequencies. So, this 15 that you worked out, 15th item, where does it lie? It lies... Here in 18, corresponding to that, the quartile 1 will lie between the ranges 10 to 15. And then we go to the, for determining the exact Q1, we will use this formula. Q1 is equal to L1 plus N by 4 minus CF upon F into I. So here, which is the lower limit here? So 10 to 15 is within this range, we will find the Q1. Now what is L1? So, L1 is what? The lower limit of the class interval. So, what is the lower limit of the class interval? 10. So, write down 10 plus n by 4. n by 4. So, what is n by 4? It is 15 minus CF. CF is previous to that. It is 10. And this is the frequency of the quartile class is 8. So, that is how you write. And I is what? I is the class interval. So, what is the class interval? It is 5. So once you write down 10, the lower limit is 10. Uh, okay, I didn't write down here. Okay, sorry. So this is 10. So, uh, 
Okay. So lower limit is 10. So I'm going to write 10. So 10 plus you work out 50 minus 10 upon 8 into 5. Uh, so 5 into 5, 25 divided by 8, you get 3.125. So you add that up to 10, you get 13.125. So 13.125 is the exact quartile. The lower quartile will be Q1 is 13.125. So if you, if you understood this, now it will be easier for you to understand Q3. So Q3 is the size of 3 into n by 4 item. So we've already worked out the 50. n by 4 is 50. That is 60 divided by 4. Into 3, what do you get? So 3 into 15th item is 45th item. So now let's take the 45th item. Where does it lie in the cumulative frequency in 50? Alright, so the 45th item lies in 50. Now, corresponding to that, the class interval um, is 25 to 30. Within this range, we will get what is known as the upper quartile or quartile Q3. So then, after we finish this, we are going to find out, again, we are going to apply. So once, we, now we have discovered where the quartile 3 will lie. Q3 is going to be there. So we use this L1 plus 3N divided by 4th item minus CF upon F into R. So instead of me writing this again, it's good if you write. You just put the values now. L1 will be 25 plus this we worked out as 45 minus, what is this? Cumulative frequency coming before that is 42 and the Cumulative freq uh, the frequency of the third quartile is 8, so I've written 8 into the class interval is 5. So this is how when we do, we get uh, 25 plus 1.875, so Q3 is 26.875. So this is how we worked out the partition value, this is the uh, third quartile, okay. So what, actually it's very important because then we will do the interquartile range and all when we are doing dispersion later on. But right now just know what is a partition value of Q1 and Q3. Maybe in another numerical I'm going to do one of the decils so that we know what it is. Though it, it's not so important uh, in this. Alright, so with that please again let me just repeat that you must do this example and you do an illustration from your book all right so with that we come to a close and in the next class i'm doing continuous series for the science